The GP38-2 series of locomotives were some of EMD's most successful designs. Produced from the 1970s to the mid-1980s, the GP38-2 and GP50 were quickly found in many different tasks of the railroad. From switching to pulling high-priority freight trains across the country, these versatile locomotives could be seen all over North America. Many of these locomotives are now being rebuilt with ecologically sound emission control for higher population centers. A new era emerges as technology meets proven reliability for these EMD products. The SD38-2, SD40-2, and SD45-2 were introduced in 1972 as replacements for the SD38, the SD40, and the SD45. They retained the same respective horsepower ratings, but received a host of mechanical and electrical upgrades, with the most visible difference being the longer frame with the HTC truck. While the SD38-2 and SD45-2 were relatively slow sellers and ceased production in the 1970s, thousands of SD40-2 variations were built as it became the most popular locomotive of the late 20th century with peak production in the late 1970s and the last variant, the full cowl SD40-2F, built for the Canadian Pacific in 1988. From the time that the first road switcher was introduced in the 1940s, the high short hood was a feature found on most first generation diesels. The high nose provided space for sandboxes, toilets, and steam generators that heated passenger trains. Some railroads chose to run their high hoods short hood forward while others ran them long hood forward. Of those railroads that ran their high hoods long hood forward, they often did so by request of the crews. The crews you ask? Yes, the crews. Coming straight out of the steam era, many crews wanted the additional feeling of safety of having the longer hood out in front just like it was on steam engines, so that's how it was. By the early 1960s, the low nose design was king, but a few railroads stuck with the high hood configuration. The Norfolk and Western and the Southern Railway are among the last roads that ordered the high hoods and took delivery of high short hoods all the way into the early 1980s. With that in perspective, it should come as no surprise that the only high hoods still operating on a Class 1 railroad in North America today are those that are still on the Norfolk Southern. The NS is a combination of the NNW and the Southern in case you're not hip to 21st century railroads. 
NS's high hood fleet remained steady as she goes for years, but over the last few years an aggressive and intensified push by NS to modernize its EMD units with new Admiral cabs has rapidly reduced the ranks of these four axle misfits. Moreover, following the replacement by modernized mother slug sets at major switching yards and terminals, some 50 high hood GP38-2s were sold in late 2016 with more than 70 that were set to be auctioned off in August of 2017 which further thinned out their ranks.